Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to get the most out of your Samsung Galaxy device with one hand. We're going to cover two different pieces of functionality today. That's going to be one-handed operation, which is built into your Samsung device. It's right in the settings. We're going to look at that. That offers you some basic functionality. Then we're going to get to the meat of this video, and that's going to be one-handed operation plus, which is part of the Samsung Goodlock module available on the Samsung Galaxy Store totally free, and that's going to unleash the power of your Galaxy device. I'm telling you, One-Handed Operation Plus is awesome. All right, without any further delay, let's get started. Go ahead and swipe down on your notification panel, open up settings. We're going to scroll down until we get to advanced features. Click on that, and then on the right-hand side, you're going to scroll down until you get to one-handed mode. All right, so we're going to go ahead and enable that. It's disabled by default, and let's go ahead and click in here real quick and take a look at what the options are. So what this does is it scales down your display size so you can easily use applications with one hand. And you'll see we have two options here. We can enable gestures or buttons. And you'll see the button one is grayed out. And the reason the button option is grayed out is because we are using gesture controls for our navigation bar. So if we switch to use icons, which would be the back, home, and recent apps keys, we would then have the button option here. So keep that in mind. If you see it grayed out, it's because your navigation panel isn't set to use buttons. So let's take a look at this in action, and then I'll show you how to switch these buttons out real quick. So we have it enabled to use gestures, which means we're going to swipe down from this bottom section to turn one-handed mode on. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So we go back home, and I swipe down from this middle. Let's take a look at what happens. You'll see here that I got smaller to where I can now interact with my screen with one hand. We also have this arrow to the left which will force the screen over here to the left-hand side. We can switch it back. We also have this little handle at the top, which we can hold onto and then move the application around just like this, up and down. So we can go left, right, up and down with it. And to get out of this mode, you just swipe down again from the center of it. So right there. So swipe down, swipe down. Once you get used to that, it's really easy. It does take a few times at first. If you're not used to it, it might take you a minute to get that gesture down, but not a big deal. So this is really handy for things like the dialer app, right? It's really hard to do here on the Z Fold 4. It's also hard to do on the S22 Ultra in any device that has a large screen. So being able to do this, we can now switch over to one hand. Just start typing a phone number and interact with any application we want with one hand. And to escape out of it, swipe down from the middle of it. The next thing I want to show you too with this is how we switch out those buttons. So we're going to go here, go back into settings, go to display. You're going to scroll down until you get to navigation bar. And I have swipe gestures enabled. What I'll go ahead and do is pick buttons. Okay. We're going to exit out of the navigation bar. And over on the left, we're going to go back into advanced features. All right. We're going to go back into one-handed mode. And you'll see now that we have both options enabled. That's right. You can use the gestures in this mode with the buttons here. You can also use button, which means you're gonna press the home button twice to enable this new functionality. So let's demonstrate that real quick. We'll go back home. I'm gonna press the home button two times. Boom, look what happened to our screen there. And now you have the little home button right there. Yeah, it might take you a little bit to get that right, but just double click it real quick and it's gonna go back to full screen mode. So this is a great way for you to get applications scaled down to size so you can use them with one hand. So this is one-handed mode that's available in your settings on your Samsung Galaxy device. All right, so now we're gonna have some real fun with one-handed operation plus. So let me show you where you can get that from. Swipe up to open up your app drawer and you're gonna look for the Galaxy Store. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you right through it. All right, we're gonna do it together here. So here's the Galaxy Store, click on that. Once that loads up, you wanna search for good luck. All right, we're gonna do that real quick. And there's the icon for good luck. Go ahead and install that. And once you do, go ahead and open up the application. All right, so we're all set. What good luck is, is basically an application that contains several modules that have their own unique functionality to help you get the most out of your Samsung device. You'll see here we have Theme Park, Pentastic, all these different modules for working with different aspects of your device. On the left-hand side, let's go ahead and switch which section of Good Lock we're in by clicking this third most button. All right, so you'll see here our top most option is One Hand Operation Plus. I've already downloaded it, but you'll see what it looks like when you have a module that's not downloaded. You'll have a download link, just like we do here for Nice Shot, right? So I haven't downloaded that yet, but I already have One Hand Operation Plus installed. You'll go ahead and download it, and it's gonna give you the option to open. 
And once you do, it's gonna look like this. All right, we have one hand operation plus loaded up. You'll see by default, everything is turned off and it's disabled. Let's go ahead and turn it on by clicking this toggle. Okay, the first thing you're likely gonna notice is that all the options are now enabled and we have two handles on our device, right? One here on the left and one on the right. These are swipe gesture areas that we're gonna be able to completely configure and make our own. That's the whole point of One Hand Operation Plus. And believe me, this is awesome. This allows you to open up applications and do different functions, all based on different swipe gestures that you completely customize. So let's look through these options here and let's see how this works. So the best way to jump into this is to show this in action a little bit. So let's look at the left handle here. Let's click in here. And you're going to see here, it tells you everything it's going to do. If you swipe straight to the right, it's going to act just like the back key. If we swipe diagonal up on the left hand side, it's going to act like we hit the recent key down here. And if we swipe diagonal down, again, that also acts as a back key. So let's go ahead and try one of these right now. So I'm going to just swipe straight to the right like this. Boom. Just took us back to the previous screen. Now here's the kicker. Here's where it gets really wild. If we go back into here and we take any one of these gestures and you click on it, Look at everything that you can do. Just look through these options. Change the volume, play and pause next tracks. We can open up different apps, open up quick panels, turn the screen off, close apps, enable the flashlight, split screen view, quick pop-up view, open up our assistance app. We can do searches on within the phone, take a screenshot. Oh my goodness, the options just go on and on. Open up different apps. We can invert the color. You have these widget interactions that you can do. All of these with a gesture. So we can basically enable six different gestures, right? Three from each side to the left and three from each side to the right. But there's even more that we can do. You can even do long swipe gestures. And if we enable that, we now have three more gestures that we can do. That brings our total up to 12. We can do 12 different things with these gestures and we can open up different applications, do different functions on our phones. Boom, have a flashlight, open up the camera app, open up our dialer app. Over here we go back, over here we go home anything you want. That's the beauty of good luck and that's the beauty of one-handed operation plus. Let's go ahead and turn the long swipe off and we have another option here called align handles. All right so if we disable that what that's going to let us do is customize this left handle because remember we're in the left handle part of the menu here right? So we are dealing strictly with the left handle so let's see this in action. If I increase the width look how much more room we have to work with for starting our gestures and stuff. And if we decrease it, it's going to shrink it. We can adjust our size to take up more of the side of the screen if we want or to lower it. And we can also adjust the position up and down. And if we turn this back on, it's going to do both. It's going to match them both, both these handles, right? And the same thing applies to the right handle. So if we go here and we do the same thing, align handles, we turn that off. We can now adjust the width and the size and the position of the right hand handle. In addition to that, for each one of the handles, we can turn vibration on. So we have some haptic feedback while we're doing our gestures, or you can turn it off. The choice is all yours. This is completely customizable. That's a beautiful thing about Samsung devices. The power is in your hands. You don't conform to your device. You make your device conform to you. All right, that's the beauty of good luck. That's the beauty of this module within good luck. Now that we've kind of covered which each one of these can do, let's look at some of the more advanced settings because you can really take this to the limit. Go into advanced settings. You can see here we have app exceptions. So if we open this up, we can toggle on different apps that we don't want these handles to apply to. So let's say you're using a third party launcher or you have some other type of application that uses its own gestures. You can go ahead and toggle that on here and then this one-handed operation plus mode will be disabled while you're inside that application. So you can really customize this to your heart's content. You can enable this in landscape mode. Let me show you that real quick. You'll see here the handles are over here. All right. We'll go back here. We can enable S Pen gestures. So you can decide if you want to be able to do these gestures with your S Pen or if you want to ignore S Pen input while you have one handed operation plus turned on. We also have this option for show notifications. We turn this on, we can swipe down, and this gives us the ability to turn off one handed operation plus right from your notification panel. Very cool. We also have fit to keyboard, which means your keyboard will fall in line with whatever width you have these handles to. That way you're not interfering with your keyboard input. Uh, we can hide it on lock screen and we can hide it in the quick panel. Very cool advanced features that we have here. Gesture settings, let's take a look at this. 
We have the quick action here, which means the swipe gesture will actually do what it's intending to do before you actually finish in releasing the swipe. So if I were to swipe to go back, right now I have it set to where you go like this and you let off of it, right? And that's when it finishes it. With quick action, once you start the swipe over to the right, it's going to immediately do that action instead of waiting for you to pull your finger off. Very cool. All right, and we also have gesture angles. Now watch this, this is awesome. We open this up. You can literally adjust the angle that you want your gestures to be at. You know, <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is absolutely nuts. And then you pick your left arrow over here to adjust your left handle angles. I mean, completely customizable. We'll hit cancel here. And you can also increase or decrease your swipe distance. So this controls how far you actually go over before the swipe actually starts to take effect. Now, if you recall here on the left handle and right handle menus, we have the option to align handles. And if we go to the main menu here, you'll see that we can control both at the same time if you don't have that enabled in here, right? So if you have these both set to be the same. So you can control both of them. And like we mentioned earlier, we have the vibration intensity. If you wanna turn that on or just not fill it while you do your gesture. So these handles here, they're not always gonna be here. They're just here inside the application so you see what they look like while you're setting them up in One Hand Operation Plus. You'll see here if we go home, right? Nothing's there, you don't see it. But if I open up the phone app, you'll see here that they work. They work in that area that we have set up. Watch, there's a back button. So let's see this in action if we customize it a little bit. We're gonna go back to one-handed operation. Let's customize this left handle a little bit. We're gonna go here, we'll go ahead and pick diagonal down. All right, so let's go ahead and pick an action for this diagonal down gesture that we're gonna do. Let's start an application and let's go ahead and have it start the calculator. Cool, so we're gonna pick that. And if we go back and I swipe down now, there's our calculator. So take some time to get familiar with all these different options you have. It's nuts. It is completely nuts. I mean, you can really customize this to your heart's content. And uh, just know that they're running here on the side. They're not gonna interfere with your regular activities. And you can basically have a total of 12 different gestures if you enable the long swipe. All right, this is One Hand Operation Plus, part of the Samsung GoodLock module. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them down in the comments section. Also, if you have any video ideas, I would really appreciate it. Always welcome to new video ideas. And as always, thanks for watching.